Energy from renewable sources like wind and solar produces no greenhouse gases and is one of our best defenses against rising global temperatures. But those energy sources aren't constant. They come and go with the weather and the time of day. If we want to use solar power at night or wind power on a calm day, we need a way to store that energy for later. To do that, we need to develop new and better types of batteries. Most batteries have three main parts. The cathode, what most folks think of as the positive end, the anode, or the negative end, and an electrolyte solution, which sits between the two. Electrolytes are particles that carry a positive or negative charge, and they're usually dissolved in a liquid, just like dissolving table salt in water. Electrolytes help maintain balance in machines that store energy, like batteries or human bodies. In fact, the electrolytes in a battery aren't so different from the electrolytes in your favorite sports drink. Just like how the electrolytes in that sports drink move through your body to keep you hydrated and power your muscles, electrolytes can also move through a battery to keep electricity flowing and power a device. But while we know a lot about the different types of electrolytes that our bodies need and about how we use those electrolytes, we don't know as much about which electrolytes are best for the new batteries we're developing to meet our energy storage needs. So how do we find the best electrolytes for the job? Well, that's where I come in. I study how different electrolytes interact with other parts of the battery, specifically with the anode. In most cases, the liquid electrolyte solution reacts with the solid anode to form a surface film, aptly named the Solid Electrolyte Interface, or SEI for short. In the batteries we use now, the ones in our phones and laptops, the SEI lets electrolytes move in and out of the anode when we charge and discharge the battery. But in the new types of batteries we're trying to build, it doesn't always work out that way. Some SEIs block or divert electrolytes from getting where they need to go to keep our battery working. And it's not always clear why those SEIs don't work. My research aims to understand the relationship between the electrolytes we use in a battery, the SEI they form on the anode, and the battery's performance. So far, I've developed very concentrated electrolyte solutions that can be used in batteries with lithium metal anodes. I've shown that in those systems, electrolytes that contain lots of fluoride perform the best. Fluoride reacts with the clean lithium metal surface and forms a more stable, less reactive SEI. Once that happens, it prevents the rest of the electrolyte solution from reacting in ways that are harder to control. My work goes beyond batteries, too. Using the lessons we've learned from developing battery electrolytes, I've worked with synthetic chemists who use electricity to make medicines and studied the electrolytes and SEIs that make those syntheses more efficient. So understanding how electrolytes interact with everything around them will help us use electricity more efficiently in everything from all electric cars and airplanes to running our cities on renewable energy to space exploration and beyond. Batteries can do it all. They just need the right sports drink. Thank you. <laughs>